Welcome to the 1878 FM podcast. It's a full house. We are all back together. The Fab Four are back. Well, I mean, you might think the Fab Four, but I'm saying it's the Fab Four. Sadly, it's not a massively on the football day. Uh, upbeat uh, podcast. It looked like it was going to be very upbeat. Can I be Ringo? Mm. About 85. Can I be Ringo and request that nobody sends me any more fan mail? Yay. Peace and love. He peace said, and love. Absolutely peace and love, but nobody, please. I'll just tear it up. <laughs> toss it. <laughs> I'll toss it. If what, like Everton tossed the game at the weekend. Stop it. Okay. Uh, let's just quickly skate over what was. I, I'll be honest. I still, I, I still don't know what's gone on. I, I, it was a bizarre afternoon at Goodison Park um, mm-hmm. with a massive self-destruct button press by the manager. Um, Dave, let's go with you first. I mean, okay. what, what did you make of it all? I. I still can't quite believe what I witnessed on Saturday afternoon, if truth be told. Mm. Um, and yeah, I couldn't believe that we conceded a goal. I certainly couldn't believe that we had conceded two and had at that point in my mind carelessly thrown away potentially two valuable points. And then to have walked away with nothing, just beggar's belief. Mm. Um, I've watched it over and over again. And I still can't understand it. And I was in the car on what day was it? Sunday, I think. And uh, I had to go to Aldi to do a bit of a big shop. And on the way there, I thought, you know where we say things like, it's not easy being an Evertonian. And I thought, never has that phrase or that kind of theory been more applicable to now. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean... It really isn't, and I just don't know how we put ourselves through it. Um, but we do week in, week out, and we're here. And Ped, I watched your post match, and I've read various different things online, and and I think we're all of the same opinion. You know, it was a self destruct button, which to me was triggered from the substitution of Indai on eighty three minutes or whatever it was. Yeah, and that's yeah. all I've got to say, really. I mean, yeah. for now, that's yeah. that's just. I'm just. I just don't know what. I, I don't. I, I can't bring any peace and love and light to this scenario at the moment. <laughs> Much as I'd love to, but I just. I just can't. So that's where I'm going to stop. It okay. was fine until the entire substitution, and then, frankly, it turned to shit. Yeah, yeah. That's one word. That's a good way of putting. Mm. Sam, I mean, what happened? Sorry, I had to duck out just for a second no, there because my kids I are upstairs and they were, at, I'll be they were honest, arguing. I just gone. Um, enough's enough. Just, enough's gone. enough. <laughs> Walked out. Yeah, <laughs> just, just left, yeah. left the feed on and just left the room. Yeah. Yeah. Left it. Um, I, ahead, uh, what, what I could think? hear crying upstairs and I just had to check that because I promised the kids I'd take them to the Southampton Carabao Cup game. I didn't know yeah. if it was related to that. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, okay, I mean, I'd be crying time. if you promised me that as well. Yeah, <laughs> some kind of squabble's broken out, so... Uh, that seems to be resolved now. The kids so like, I didn't hear what no, they... you're having the ticket. No, you're having the ticket. No, you're having the ticket. <laughs> In summary, Sam, I was just saying that, you know, it's not easy being an Evertonian and never has that been more apparent than actually in the last few days and actually that all was going good until 83 minutes and the entire substitution. And yeah. We, I mean, it all very much didn't go to plan. I've got a feeling I didn't hear what you said precisely, Dave, but I may say the exact same words. In the well, do it because I think that's fine. I don't even think there's, you know... the. I suppose as a fan base, we're very united at this point in what happened and what went wrong on on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a couple of you know different voices, but generally people seem to be in agreement that it, it, those substitutions were just a disaster. Um, and I think up until then, you know, it was quite enjoyable to mm-hmm. watch. I was enjoying mm-hmm. it. It was two nil. Could have been four. Could have been five. They weren't in it. And then the substitutions are just. Strange because sometimes substitutions happen and you don't you don't agree with them. Mm. But when it changes the shape and the momentum of the team, that's when you, I, I personally get really angry with it because you know if if someone brings on a player you don't fancy, that's one thing. But mm. if they have similar attributes to the player that was performing very well, so Dom's a great example because he he holds the ball up really well. Beto doesn't mm. do that. Mm. Mm. Beto comes on, 
And I think at that point it was 2-1 anyway. And mm. the momentum was definitely mm. in their mm. favour. Mm. Mm. When it was 2 all, I think it was when it was 2 all. they had about two or three other opportunities <laughs> to score. And, and yeah, I yeah, yeah. Gonna score here and we, I, yeah. I would snap your hand off for a 2 all at this point. Yeah. In itself would be horrific. Yeah. Mm. Of course, Everton have to go, hold my beer, or whatever the phrase is, and, and hold my chang, yeah. which is there. Uh, yeah, well, mm. they were taking the piss. Yeah, oh, so it was just it was just dreadful. And I was, uh, you know, I I went and sat in the garden for about twenty minutes afterwards, and I I could I, I wasn't online. I was just staring at the floor, looking mm. at the sky, yeah. and I, I couldn't believe it. And even the next day, I was in shock. I was just in shock at how it how it had happened. And I think it's really really. I I, I wasn't like the biggest fan of the manager, but I thought mm. he was doing all right. And I mm. think that's really really. You know, it's it's altered my opinion of of whether he's the right man for this job at this point. Do you know what it's like? It was you know when you play football as a kid, and when one of the sides is clearly far better than the other, and it's just it's not fair. Yeah. And then what you do is you change it up, don't you? You kind of got to tell you what, right? You and you, right? Switch over. It was a little bit like doing that. Yeah. <laughs> No, it was a bit like we were too good, so let's try and even it all up and give Bournemouth a chance at the end. And you know they certainly took their chance. And actually, as you said, they could have had they could have had more. They scored three goals. They could have scored scored five goals. It felt like um, it felt a bit like that Watford game at Benitez, mm -hmm. where at yeah. two one that day, Everton was so far and the mission, and it was like ah, oh, we'll get one in a minute. And on Saturday, it was like that. It was like we were tuning the up. And then the pass wasn't quite coming off, or the shots were getting blocked. And it was, oh, you have a go in a minute. This mm. is so easy. And then he made the wrong sub. And and all of a sudden, that Watford game that day, mm. they scored four goals in 12 minutes yeah, and won yeah. 5 2. And Bournemouth did. And that was, funnily enough, that was the start of the end for Rafa Benitez and on yeah. Saturday. Yeah. I just did, because we had played so well, Ped, really. I mean, they, they looked like. He wanted to be anywhere else yeah. with 10 minutes to go, didn't he? Well, just going back to what Sam, this, Sam, Sam said there, enjoying, people were enjoying it and mm. the players were mm. enjoying it. You could see the players mm. were clearly enjoying it. Mm. There was, mm. Like I remember, like you know, you just you think about the game back and, you, you know, you don't always think about it clearly, but seeing like Jack Harrison pick the ball up three or four times and actually like, look like he was yeah. enjoying it, skipping uh, past yeah, people yeah. and feeling like, there was a, well. yeah. feeling like there was a freedom now in that mm. and it was opening them up and it was yeah. creating chances and, and yet we should have scored more goals and that's one of, maybe one of the factors that we never quite put them to bed. But that was what was the most annoying thing and, and again, Sam's just mentioned there that when most of us are in agreement, some people are not in agreement, some people have drunk the Kool-Aid and think that it's all on the players. I just look at the situation and think to myself, some of our players were clearly knackered. Yeah. Like Tim, Tim Irabuna mm. was knackered mm. and they fought on match of the day. They said about him, oh, he's looked sloppy in the last few minutes and they did mention fatigue, but what they didn't mention was you are allowed to make subs. You know, James Garner should have come yeah, on yeah. for Timmy and Aboonham in the eighty third minute and, and we should have just gone, We're just gonna grab control now. Mm. Yeah. And and by grabbing control, yeah, control. No, I know, but I'm saying but yeah. we were starting to they were starting to the they were starting to take a little bit more, weren't they? And by having someone like James Garner on the pitch, you suddenly get older the midfield mm. and you go, right, just keep doing what we're doing. Again, that, that Beto sub is bad as the first one. Because what Beto mm. is, is a player that you you have to sort of lose control to get him into the game a little bit. Because yeah. you have to start okay, playing you have to start playing balls down the channels and the 50-50 balls. But even that was weird because I've seen, and you will have, we all will have, we watched football a long time. When a team concedes a goal, and they're about to make a substitution. Most times, the manager just goes, just sit down yeah, yeah. for a minute. Just let's yeah. just let's settle for another minute or so. Mm. Just make sure we are on this. They scored, and he just took them off. Like Beto was still no. up, ready to come on anyway. The goal didn't sort of change his thinking, and I would have gone and gone. Just sit back down a minute. Just like you know, keep warming or whatever. Go and carry on. Put a bit back on for one minute. Let's just see what's well, happened. What there was a massive gap also between the first goal. I mean, not a massive gap in, you know, but it, the, the, between the first goal and the second goal, there's enough time because he smelt it. Mm. And who, who, he who smelt it must have dealt it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> he smelt, he smelt it. 
Uh, why not, like, bring on a couple of defenders? Why not bring on Jacob Coleman? O'Brien. Oh, you've got Ashley Young there. Coleman is done. Uh, Coleman is done. And they put Sinister yeah. and yeah. Uh, Uvatara on Seamus. But also, right, Nachad. why not just go, we're making a sub, and then 30 seconds later go, we're making another sub, and then 30 mm. seconds later go, we are breaking this game up. Because mm. that's what clever... But he stood there, and this is, what, this is the main thing I couldn't say. I listened to his press conference afterwards, and what I couldn't say was, literally, he threw the players under the bus and just mm. went, nothing to do with me. And that, to me, is what I can't say. The players, of course, have got a... You know, Michalenko running around in circles for that third goal. He was shocked. That's terrible. But at the same time, you're the fella who swapped over Decore for Dwight McNeil instead of just taking Dwight McNeil off the pitch. This this is his problem. He's got his favourites, number one. So why not take... Oh, I can't take Dwight off. Oh, my God, we might we might have a free kick that he might need to take. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's those decisions that I just... Th- they're the reason why I I, I, I can't take to the man. No, I I just can't take to the man, and I never have been able to take to the man. And when he compounds it by nothing to do with me, nothing to do with well, me. It's this is we're getting into holiday territory, aren't we? Mm. When we win, it's me, and when we lose, it's them. And he did that, and I can try. I can when people just throw it all on the players. Mm. I can't sort of like I can't get on board with them because those same people will lord the manager if they win. Mm. So then I'll go. Didn't the players win? Yeah. No, no, it's on the, the manager. Yeah. That. Okay, so when we lose, so who lost then? The manager lose? No, that's on the players. Hang on, mate, choose your poison. Yeah, you yeah. can't back the players and not like the manager and then or love the manager and have a go with the players because ultimately, no matter what happens, footballers play the game. Mm-hmm. Managers. So the, be- the best the best managers, you see them and they, they get really, really annoying if they're not managing your team. But when there's a defeat like that, they'll, they'll blame something else. They'll blame extraneous factors but they're just trying to take the if if it is the players fault they're trying to take the heat off the players and protect them because that's what you de- deflect it game management's not just about what happens on the pitch it's managing the expectations off it and i think mm. you know the, our players for a long time haven't managed situations very well but the manager like like ped said like he smelt it when, when you say i smelt it you're basically saying i knew that was going to happen mm. yeah. do you know what i did about it nothing mm. yeah i mean that's like terrible leadership on any level, whether that's on in a football pitch, in a boardroom. If you can see mm. something terrible is going to happen and you don't react, then you're part of the problem. You yeah, but, it was, it was wor- but it was worse than nothing, though, because that sort of assumes that you, I mean, you know, nothing would be not making any changes. He actually made changes to weaken the situation. He did. He did. No, he would actually would have been better off doing nothing. In- in- everybody, everybody, I don't know about you. I said to the lad next to me when they scored, I went, these. These are going to equalise mm. because we... Ju- I'm on to equalise. You knew they were going to get the winner. Pick up, so we could smell it. <laughs> smell it. All in the stadium. The yeah. difference was... Stanky. He, yeah. Yeah. he was in that charge... Was in the Gladys of, He was obvious... Uh, sorry, he was in charge of being able to, to react to... This is what I don't get. We this just is, sit this on, is what I... What do you this do? is what I don't get. It. You know, fans will go, well, it's on the players on the pitch. It's not, It's not though. It's not on the players on the pitch because the, the, the easiest way to look at it is... Bournemouth swapped half a team yeah, yeah. for a mm. for a for a new half, mm. and that ha- new half were all up against players who've been playing for ninety Ooh, minutes. And and again, people will go, "Why are they tired?" Well, it's like the best way I can look at it is go. Imagine I I do a, a run. Imagine I go and do mm. a ten k, and I'm on my last k, mm. and some lad who's on his third k mm. wants to come and run alongside me. Mm. He's gonna beat me, isn't he? Mm. He's going to beat me. Yeah, I'm I'm fit enough to complete the ten k. No mm. problem with that. But he's gonna beat me on that got last k because he's got yeah. more energy and he's fresher. That's why you put subs on. Exactly, and he, this is a major problem with them. Is that. There was players there. I mean, and Dai should never have gone off. He never was he was indeed. enjoying life. The fans were <laughs> loving it. He was taking them. That that left their left hand, uh, our left hand side. They were never troubling us. Mm. And then Michalenko could just sit back, and we, you know, he, they didn't have a clue what to do. And for the sake of like ten minutes, mm. and it's the same with Dom. He's been doing that Dom, mm. Dom sub for the best part of a year now, mm. and it's not required. If it, people, if I know people like Beto. But Saturday was, again, another clear indication that the lad simply does not understand Premier League football and what you need to do and and how you need to keep hold of the ball. That, I don't, again, I just don't, true, it's been near a year and it, no one seemed to have told him what he should and shouldn't be doing. Mm. But why are you taking Dominic Carvalho Lewin off? Again, mm. he's having a good game. He's enjoying himself. Mm. You know, I've watched Pep Guardiola 
Erlen Haaland scored a hat-trick. He's not taking him off, isn't he? And going, oh, well done, lads. Thanks, I'll give you everyone a clap. He's keeping him on. He's winning the game. Yeah, especially He's seen when it through. We're going into an international break. Exactly. Yeah. There was Two no yeah. away games. There was no yeah. reason Two away games. to make them. But, you know, who, who was more likely to score? You know, as I say, little ball through like like there was from from McNeil, which was the goal, or you know, and Die could have fed him through. But you know, you fancied you fancied Dom because he looked up for it. He'd already got one. He was playing well. And who would you fancy to actually nick another one, which they thoroughly deserved in the last ten or fifteen minutes? It's I think just... again, it shows the limitations of the manager in terms of an attack and prowess. We played some really good football on Saturday. Mm. Maybe some mm. of the best football in that second half felt like a moist second half to me. But it was mm. yeah. It, felt, mm. it was the best football since Bournemouth last year. No, but it's same fe- game. It felt. It just it felt like. Back. Yeah, it felt like we were. We had the bit, We had yeah. the bit between our teeth, and mm. we were going after them fans, again yeah. and again and again. Constant and the fan, pressure. Yeah. Constant pressure. And like those Moyes and, and Harrison, who just kept nicking the ball. And we back. just yeah, we just and kept on nicking the ball. So you make you you don't have to make attacking subs. Mm. You make subs, as I said, James Garner to me was the most obvious sub mm. in the world because mm. he know he knows how to play that role. You take Timmy and Abunam mm-hmm. off, who's absolutely and knackered, Seamus. and it mm-hmm. start to give him the ball away. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, and Seamus, and whether people like Ashley Young or no. not, Ashley Young could have come on there and done, could have could have done a job. And yes, we're limited on the bench. I appreciate that, but you're more limited when you're making silly subs. Mm-hmm. You know, the core could have come on a little bit late, but he we, he just weakened us, and they just went, "My right, lads, we needed to yeah. keep the ball." Yeah, so we put two lads on. Who don't keep the ball. Don't yeah. keep the ball. Notoriously, and, are players who just run it. round, who mm. just run round they're, and wait for they're things. They're enthusiastic, and there's a time and a place for them. Better is better starting than coming off the bench. Yeah. It's just a, that's just a fact. But and there's times when Dom isn't in it, and you go, I can understand them taking them off. Saturday for me wasn't that no. time, and especially when they go and score. I'd have gone to Beto, sit back yeah. down for a minute. I want to see whether we can get older this game mm. again. Mm. We had the chance at two one. In the box with the core, Harrison slipped it to him. He's on his own with loads of space. He could have walked towards their goal and rolled it square for Beto to tap in. He just hit it first time across mm. the goal, and everyone's like, "Ah, oh, Beto should have been in there." It's like, are you kidding? No one had a clue what the core was going to do. He just didn't want it. Where if he'd have just looked like that, he was he had three or four yards. He could have took a touch, walked towards their goal, and smashed it or rolled it across. And it's those moments yeah. that was at two one. It was crazy and. Yeah. It did. It really did. Like, sometimes you'll have a goal, you'll blame the manager and go, what's he done that? But on Saturday, I, it was the most evidential thing ever. If you ever needed facts about someone being able to influence the loss yeah. of a game from the side, it was on Saturday. Yes, the players at 2-1, Pickford, Tarkovsky, <laughs> Coleman, they're all experienced. Yeah. Should have grabbed each other together and gone, stop crosses, mm. get tight, keep smashing it up into that corner. And they didn't. The three of them, massively experienced, let let the team down yeah. as well. And Michalenko, who had no clue who was behind them. No. Like the first goal, mm. one terrible. job, terrible. Mark Semingo didn't have a clue he was behind them and he got a tap in and that changed it. But the manager's got the opportunity to influence the game from there. We can't. All we can do is shout and scream. He physically undone all the good work. So that's why you have to look at him mm. there and go, that isn't good enough. You've you've played the part in our downfall. And it's so depressing because we've got two difficult away games yeah. for different mm-hmm. reasons. Villa are a really good side, and, that's, yep. and we don't do well there anyway. And Leicester aren't mm-hmm. a really good side. But the pressures, the pressures, pressure mount, building, and then they don't fancy us, you know. Mm. The pressure, don't fancy building, us. No. Mm. pressure is definitely building now. It's frustrating because we could have been sat here going into an international break, mm. and we should be, yeah. And we're saying, you know what, the manager got it right yeah. at the weekend, played good attack, two wins in a week, went at it, a couple of signings on nice deadline day now, and we move on. And, and now you look and go, well. They failed in the transfer window because they didn't get a fast winger who you would have been able to bring yeah. on there, even though Harrison was good. And we've gone and thrown away. Well, again, though, we have got a winger game. on. The, we've got another winger on the bench. He's never putting him on. But he's never putting him on. And again, what does that say about what does that say about the business in the summer that we're we come to the end of the window and a player that we bought we bought a month ago or oh, sorry we loaned in a month ago mm. is still not trusted to go onto the pitch. Mm. Man, he, he does keep hold of the ball mm. a little bit. He's a bit clever. He should have. If you're gonna. If you were going to do that sub mm. and push McNeil out, and I don't know why you would have, either take him off or leave him where he mm. is. If you're going to do that sub, Lindstrom should have been the one that went on, not the mm. Corey. Mm. 
It'll just be interesting to see what this yeah. result has for the rest of the season because that pressure that you talked about, it's that's we put ourselves in, under a low depression. Now, if mm. we win that game, as we should have done, mm. we've got three points. Loads of teams are on three points. Yeah. You know, mm. that's fine. Three from mm. three points from three games. We'll take that. Bad start, but we've got it back. International yeah. break, regroup. A couple of the new signings look, you know, like they're going to add some quality mm-hmm. to the team and Jai in particular. But then that happens. And like we saw with the points deduction last year, you, you lose... You lose points every game's a pressure game and yeah. players don't perform or a lot of players certainly our players don't seem to perform very well under immense pressure and oh. it just mm. adds to that horrible feeling when you go on the match and like in the ground mm. and everyone's just tense and yeah everything means so much more and it's just we had a chance well, they, to, to get rid of that what no, we, we said did. at the beginning of the season was we wanted we knew it was going to be a struggle this season but we wanted like a more even season so we could pick mm. up three four points a month Mm. That's going to be enough to help you through. Four points a month gives you four. Exactly. Points. Exactly. That's so, it. so if, it's not so a lot. It's science. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All facts. So it's All math. the problem is now is it we're, we're we're heading in the same direction where you need three four wins and all that does is build pressure. Mm. And when yeah. he talks about the fan base and when he talks about stuff off the pitch, this is what he's talking about. This is why he, I, I I I'm adamant he has not got the first clue about our fan base. And what, the mm. way he threw them under the bus after the match, I, I find that unforgivable. To not mm. sit there and take responsibility mm. like you see other managers who go, no, no, that wasn't on them. That was on me. Forget that. Mm. That was that was on me, that. Mm. I, I'm, I'm big enough to realise I made the wrong subs. Now, whether he believes that or not, it doesn't actually matter. But if mm. he takes the pressure off the players, that's important because they're the people who have to go on the pitch and have to face our scrutiny. And we, can be, we are a tough crowd. I, I appreciate that. But I find that I find that really poor man management. Mm. Your fault, your fault, your fault, your mm. fault. No, mate, it was your fault, and everybody knows it. Mm. Everybody knows Not it. Most, yeah. Well, no, but that's it. That's... Yeah, but there's there's been a change in that, though, hasn't there? Because actually, in fairness, Dice didn't used to do that, and obviously, mm. since the since the kind of Dave. Well, yeah, no, absolutely. But there was a there yeah. was a change when when suddenly you know he he pointed the finger at the fans a few weeks mm. ago. Yeah. You know, and that was obviously received loud and clear. And then he's done it now with the players. And, yeah, it's just he's alienating himself from from those around him. Mm. Well, he's lucky that there's that nobody knows who his boss is. So he's just, mm. he can just coast on just blaming everyone. Who's he going to blame next? The Toffee Gale. And just keep mm. pointing the finger at other people until in the end. The, 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 the ownership no one left. saga is just, yeah, it's just, mm. it's just a, it's a bad situation. Oh, well. You better have some amazing monkey oh, well. news, Baz. I've got no amazing monkey news. I want to ask Dave about this week because Dave yeah, wasn't Dave here last week. Dave had an amazing week. Have it. Yeah, sorry, sorry I wasn't here last week. No, it's fine. You were, you were I didn't I didn't weird. actually apply for, for, for official leave. No. Well, you just <laughs> be like other Dave, members. hang on, can we, before yeah. we go any further, me and you weren't here last week, right? I wasn't here because I was getting my hair cut. So you better have an equally good excuse, my friend. Well, can I just say that first and foremost, Peter, your hair looks magnificent you. as Thank always. You, you know, uh, I wasn't having my hair cut. <laughs> Although I have had a haircut since you saw me last. Well, thanks for noticing. Um, and I was on the road on official business last week uh, filming for a little project for the EFL that saw me in Preston on Wednesday, Shrewsbury on Thursday, and Salford and Bolton on Friday before driving home to London. Friday night. So I did 650 miles in a transit van. Nice. Uh, but we had a very, very successful week on the road. So it was all good. But And that's why I couldn't be around. Oh, uh, oh, but what were you doing, Dave? What, what were you doing? Secret? Well, it, it, is it secret? No, maybe not. It's, it's basically, it's a film for the EFL, which is to highlight the good work that the 72 EFL clubs do in their own communities. So it's far more than just football that's on the pitch. It's all sorts of things that the clubs do, charitable-wise, and just helping those that need help for all sorts of different reasons and just some wonderful stories that they wanted to highlight. So it was our pleasure and privilege to meet some lovely people who told us their story and how impactful and important their club has been to them. Did it remind you of like your Radio 1 days when you used to go on tour? 
It did a little bit, but with less karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> you sure they gone to Plymouth? Because Wayne Rooney really was doing karaoke on. Well, yeah, well he's, yes. He's, he's doing a lot for the community down mm. there. Mm. Yeah. He's yeah. doing uh, uh, good work for the, for the I, I was very impressed with one of Dave's meal deals that he posted on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Were you impressed with it? Eight quid? That wasn't impressed. Well, no, no, no. It wasn't eight quid, though. I mean, Sam was just remarking about the fact that he thought the quality looked and felt so high that it must yeah. have been a higher end one ah, but in okay. fact it wasn't it was that was in asda in oh so this was the interesting thing i mean if indeed meal, meal deals are interesting so we had three days on the road right so we have breakfast at the hotel that's done bosh and then we have a meal deal and then we have a, an evening meal somewhere out of our choosing right yeah and then so the meal deals so to prevent them from being a bit samey, albeit there was some coincidence going on here. So over the three days, we did Sainsbury's, Asda and Tesco's, which is the holy trinity of meal deals, Sam. Well, that's good because I, I like to know where to get a good meal deal because I've, I've probably been to every single meal deal outlet mm. in the UK. And some of the it's the side items that get a bit sketchy. I quite like mm. Boots. Boots meal deals are quite good. Mm. You can get mm. sushi, but that's terrible to eat while you're driving. See, uh, you have to go for one-handed uh, food, so to speak, you know, and that's what I thought about for the, for the way better? home. Would yeah. it be better if it was like in Boots, though? Would it be better if it was like a sandwich, a bottle of water, and some thrush cream? Yeah, maybe, <laughs> you know, absolutely. Yeah, you, you, like you, you, for thrush you, cream. you swap yeah. out the prawn cocktail for canistan or something like that. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's an unfortunate yeah. analogy as well, Just but you know like, what I mean? You know what I mean? Just because yeah. you're in... <laughs> Well, no. well, you know, you're in boots, so why is it like conditioner? Why not? You know, it's more of a concealer. What do you need concealer for? Oh, oh being on with Gary Neville, have you? Is that what happened? <laughs> Quick brush you the hey, face. Can I, oh, the, a bit I shiny. Some... You're a bit shiny, love. You're a bit shiny. I don't get that. I get very shiny. Thing, but... Did I tell you? I, I had to go and buy some, um, like, is it called concealer? But it's like the sort of stuff that stops your head from shining because it was getting it's me photos like done. like a matte, yeah. matte stuff, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So I got, like, the photographer I was working with, he's a mate of mine. I've known him for years, and he went, like, buy this stuff. It's, like, non-shine. Like, mm. you can't, you know, it doesn't change the, the shade of your skin. Went into Boots. I was a little bit embarrassed buying makeup because I've not bought makeup before. So I went up to the woman and I said, I need this. And I showed her the text on my phone. I said, it's for a photo shoot. And then I thought, I should probably qualify that I'm not a model. Because mm. I, I thought, does she think, if she thinks I'm, I think I'm a model, she's going to think I'm, like, mentally ill. Because I mm. don't have the right well, face. Well, hang, hang so on. I, I think you've been a bit harsh on yourself, I, Sam, Avery, though. Yeah. I had to say, I had to say, I need it for a photo shoot. I'm a comedian. So the why, you were why are you explaining your life to someone that will maybe never meet you again? You're just buying something <laughs> in the shop. I know. Why? It's a ridiculous way to live your life. I think I it know, probably yeah. just speaks to a, 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 a fairly well-hidden low self-esteem that I have got deep within me that I'm not even aware. She, you could have been situations. you could have been buying it for Baz's photo shoot. Hmm? She, she might you know, think I've got loads got left no, if anyone needs any. She might think you've got no hair because it's easier then to put the wigs on for when you're going on Drag Race. <laughs> And what's wrong with that? Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. That's whatever you want to do, whatever your side hustle is. You know, go. On, you could start a YouTube channel where you dress up as a drag queen, go up and down the service stations all up and down the country, buying me deals. Mm. Start one. Mm. Continue. <laughs> it's, it's, Did you wear makeup when you went on um, uh, BBC Breakfast the other the other morning? Mm. Oh, I did, I did actually, they, but they they applied their own stuff, proper mm. yeah. good stuff that our license fee pays for. So. Because I believe the, you're carrying stuff. on uh, Ken Dog Ken Dodd's legacy. Yeah, we're opening this happiness centre. Oh, it's, well, it's just our planning permission. Is it next to Everton's I, ground? I, that's the thing I was saying. Can we not put it next to Bramley Moor? Just <laughs> put it there. It's gonna be yeah. Uh, <laughs> put it where the hot walk. Put it where the hot walk is. <laughs> just have a door, right? Just have a door, <laughs> and when you open it, just you walk straight into the dock. Just literally plunge. Look, just that's, put, that's put, just for Everton. Just put these weights on, sir. Would you put these weights on? You've, what do I need those weights on? Don't worry about sir. Just open the door. Walk through the door. Doosh. Mm. That's just for Everton. That's not what Sam's going for. I think Sam's looking more sort of, you know, looking more holistically for the community rather than just Evertonians. I, I do like the walk the plank idea, though, at the mm. new ground. I mean, there's just yeah. so many uses for that, isn't there? Yeah. You yeah. know, bad substitutions. Managers. Anything. Managers. Managers. Players, this just, way, Mr. Dice. Mm. <laughs> Who are you taking me, Mr. Mashiri? Mm. Uh, Mr. Usman Oshiot is beyond, just beyond the uh, plank. 
<laughs> Sharks in the Mersey and everything. <laughs> the yacht out of it. Got that uh, beluga, that Russian spy beluga whale just circling. Well, it died. We're sharing one of those, like, you know, those submarines in the James Bond film that was shaped like a crocodile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just comes up, and takes you. Oh, a few of them have gone on. Uh, guys, good, good job we can laugh, isn't it? These yeah. are all good laugh. ideas. Though. Well, we are. We have got a professional comedian and Sam with us, so you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a model now. Remember that? <laughs> Don't forget. Yeah, model. Yeah. Well, Don't know which part of my body I'm modeling? I've got oh, nice elbows. I've been Sam, told. you've gone weird again. So, listen. Let's let's <sighs> let's see what I had a couple of things now, right? Sam, I know it, it, we prepared some stuff last week. We've done mm. some prep, yeah. believe it or not, for this show. Prep? Last week. Mm. Um, and we didn't get to Sam's, but we will in yeah. a minute. Right? But I had a couple. I just thought I'd throw a couple of these. What's better in? Go on. Just to see, because I'm on. interested. Go on. Would you rather have a magic wand or a time machine? What do you think's better? Mm. I'll start with the lads. Go ahead, let's go to Dave. Go on. Dave, a magic wand or a time machine? Well, they'd both be useful in the current predicament. <laughs> but I think, you know, keeping it topical, I'm going to go mm. for a time machine. Okay. It would take us back to 80 minutes on the clock on <laughs> Saturday. Okay. And actually, somehow, we would try and, you know, make sure that those disastrous substitutions hadn't happened. And we'd now happily be looking back on a balmy day at Goodison Park. How would you do that, though, Dave? Well, I don't know, Peter, to be honest with you. But it would be, there must be a way of actually getting to <laughs> Dice's head, you know, and maybe changing the outcome. Yeah. So that we I mean, were all I, looking I, back I, on... McFly, like, you, you like the, you know, well, that's the, the thing, because, you know, like... And just go, Sean, I've seen it. Don't do it. Don't Absolutely. Do, don't you know, running... Running across, we running across, <laughs> running across, you know, the pitch and then chaining myself with cable ties to the box oh. with a t shirt saying, just say no to substitutions or yeah. something. Wouldn't you know, we just wouldn't we just, just stop win? dice? Yeah. Just stop dice. God, yeah. Wouldn't we just win 2 0 and everyone would just think you were a lunatic and you'd be banned uh, for life? Yeah, Wasn't maybe. Aren't, yeah. The, aren't like the issues a little bit deeper than that? I Should... thought he was going to say, time machine, back to when Machiri come in mm. and just say, hey, don't employ Cumin. Get a better manager and get a good director See, I, of football I, I think, and listen to them. I think we are. We are, we are in many ways thinking we've got any chance of like changing anything. Like we'd mm. have, but we'd have to physically you, do something. No, to, but, you know no, but we might be able to get in front of Machiri and go, "We're from the future." And honestly, <laughs> why have our accents changed? Because I don't, I don't, I don't we're think from the future. Gruff men from because America. I don't think he would. If we just turned up, men. All right, Farad lad. We've got a ballsy comedian, two ranty people, and a fella that has written a book. But still hasn't Farid, said that's a cop. Farid, what's your favourite meal deal? Yeah. While he's <laughs> telling us. You wouldn't get near that with that Russian fella no, like mate, when we were in no, Switzerland who just mm, eased yeah. us out the way. Uh, so you'd yeah. have to come up with, you've got to catch his attention. So you'd have to I, be I like, think Farad, you're all, we're, you're we're all from the future. The wrong, it's the wrong direction, I think, you're going in. I think what you need to do is get a time machine. Don't go into the past and try and change mm. it. Because like Ped says, that's difficult. Go into the future. Yeah. And just see if Everton is still in the same predicament yeah. in 27 yeah, years' actually, time. And then we what? just all go, there's no point. Let's yeah, do no, something that's actually a good. Uh, go in the future, see how we get on in the next like five years, and then make a decision. Because who, who knows what? We might be on the right course. This might be the right timeline. Okay. We might we might cock our timeline up. So we've got to go in the future, and check, check what's it. happened, and, and then check what's happened. And then if it's really bad, then just like, I don't know. Go back to like Peter Johnson and tell him not to build the mega store or something. I don't oh, know. Build two, 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 two tiers two on the park. Although there is a there is a, a conspiracy growing amongst the Everton fan base that mm. actually the the park end was built on a mass burial site. So when we built the new park end, we disturbed that that mass burial site, and that's where. But we still won the FA Cup. I know, but they were just giving us one for the year. Do you know what I mean? I, <laughs> I think we can chart this back to, to had to split the case. Well, Things were going yeah. okay till then. We'd mm. finished in Europe. We had money. We bought players. Should we just block we Gilfie Sigerson's car in at Swansea? Yeah. Just say, go, mate, get on the plane and go to But that, that didn't explain the rest of Gilfie Sigerson, did it? Let's leave, let's leave yeah, that let's one go. right there. <laughs> but all our yeah. legal so, so, Sam, Dave and Ped have gone for the time machine. Are you with the time machine or are you a magic wand? 
I'd go time machine, but I would go future, and I would go mm -hmm. close yeah. So future, time like machine again. Season, I'd go okay. 15 yeah. years, I'd go 20 years, and maybe I'd go 50 years into the future, I'd come back to you guys, and I'd go, lads, it's going to be all right. We finished 12th most seasons. <laughs> <laughs> would you like have a face, uh, fake face like the like doctors and peel it all off? And then mm. when you peel it off, you've still got no hair. He, he lo uh, no, because he looks the same on that. He peels his fake face yeah. off. He That's looks the sort same. Of a joke, isn't it? It just looks like, remember that old glue you got mm. in school? You used to pick off your fingers. Mm, yeah. But yeah. I, no, I, I don't think I'd have a disguise. It could be, though, that if you did go into the past, you find out that it's not some big moments with like machinery coming in. Yeah, it's, it's all really the little moments, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's like the yeah. salmon pink away kit. That's yeah. what did it. Or signing Craig yeah, short. Yeah. That's yeah. what ruined it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair play. Uh, are unicorns the best mythical creature, or is or yeah, basically? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, or is, could could you make a better? What, what, it's a horse with a horn. What's good about it? Because every because mm. what's good about it though? What's well, good about seem it? People to think it's amazing. It's, 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 what's good about? Well, oh, like, that's a unicorn. Well, do they fly unicorns? Well, they can do. You can add Allegedly. wings if you want. I mean, they're not real. So if you want, you can add mm. wings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, rainbows. It's not bleeding pizza hut. You can get some wings with that as well. I know mean, what I mean. God see. Other pizza places are they? You know, are available if you want to swap. I was, I, like funny enough, I was watching Fantastic Beasts on Sunday okay. as well, the third yeah. instalment, mm -hmm. and there was lots of really good fantastic character mythical ca creatures oh, in there. Oh, you were talking about Man City. Mm. So, yeah. Well, you know, and yeah. there was loads in that. I, 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 I enjoyed some of the characters in that. Okay, you know, so so are they better than unicorns? Unicorns are shite. They are the ones. They've got they're a horse with a horn, mm. and now and again they fart rainbows or something. Believe depending on uh, who... isn't a dragon better than a unicorn? Is it yeah, dragons or are not a mythical? Goblin or something like that. A, a hang on, dra so dragons that fly around and breathe fire aren't mythical. Are, are they mythical? I'd say they were mythical. I don't fully believe them. You don't just because you don't fully zoo, believe so. them doesn't mean they're not true. This is this is true. Are you? I'm saying just, I'm just saying where I am. So dragons. You are sit in the mythical. shade when you're doing the show. You don't believe in lights. I'm so glad <laughs> you. There is that. Dave always to me seems like he's on panorama. <laughs> it's 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 got... No, I've been I've been it's told still. before that my lighting is poor. It's because it's... see the wi the windows behind yeah, me. Yeah, but my desk needs to be. You know, my shoes are about get three quid. Yeah, honest know, to God, you one step away from getting Jerry Adams impersonator <laughs> to do your voice. That's it. All pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> Get Even someone darker. to do a mad voiceover. Oh, okay. Absolutely <laughs> mad. Um, Sam, you had some stuff for us. I'm just trying to find it. Last week, I've got it here. Right. So here's Sam's suggestions. Right. Mm -hmm. If you could carry out an unlimited get-out card for one thing in life, what would that be? So you start us, Sam, because this was your question. So give us the I example so we know what to well, follow. I've forgotten a nasty, to be honest. Um, oh, he's... Pro... Have I gone again? No, you all right. It was, no, just like someone... it was like someone got one of those <laughs> little springs behind the door. Banging. And just went... <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm no, basically, I'm, tr I'm trying out some no, new no, voices. So I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm really inspired by the guy from Police Academy. So I'm just trying to make lots of weird noises. And seeing if it works for me. Uh, mm. My get out card would be taking the bins out because I've got a neighbor who puts the bins out for us every every week and he's like 90. Yeah. And he's had the, the he's had the, the cheek to go on holiday this week and I had to put oh. the bins out in the rain last night. Oh. And it was just, it's a really small thing, but it's dead annoying, isn't it? You, Hang on, like, you, you let a 90 year old man put your <laughs> bins out. <laughs> How how is how how is that fair? You 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 sit there when it's raining watching this ninety year old man struggle oh, in Sean. the rain to bring Sean. your bins out. I mean, yeah, I do mean... you do you not bring? I mean, because I used to have a reciprocal arrangement with my next door neighbour, who's mm. now since gone, whereby he would put mine out and then I would put his back. Mm. Oh no! He's got he got he moved. Well. Hang on, has, has he, he moved? In moved? He's not he's died. Dead. He's oh, moved. He just fucked it I was going to say that might have been after. Yeah. I'm going to say. Uh, no, 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 no. He's he's Sam moved. He's going to kill his neighbours yeah. off by yeah. bins. Yeah. yeah. 
death by. You got to stay active in it, so I'm allowing him <laughs> to, to play this important integral role in society mm. and put my mm. bins out and put them back in. And if he wants Fair to do play. more, he can do more. If he wants to come and you know go out the kitchen, <laughs> the offer's open. But mm. let's leave it at bins for now because I get I just I'm not a fan. There's a lot of pigeons a live by our house. <laughs> There's a lot of pigeons that live near our house, and they, they do a lot of the the, the droppings on the floor. Yeah. And then you, you know, in the rain, it's all squidgy, and you, you've so you're not, letting a just... ninety year old fella yeah, potentially <laughs> slip to his death. Yeah. Um, also, also, I mean, and and in terms of your line of work, are you not largely night based? Therefore, giving you a lot of time in the daytime for the putting out and pulling back of, of yeah. bins. Potentially, yeah, but I, you know. I'm a busy man. I mean, I had, I had a gig in crew mm. last week, so I'm all over right. the place. You know, so <laughs> I, I don't want that's this these sort of mundane everyday tasks to get in the way of my uh, you know rock and roll lifestyle. But um, I think I, when I see him, there's a look in his eyes that says, "Thanks for letting me put thank your bins you. out. I yeah. love oh, it. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Thank that, you for you're, your you're essentially his gym, mm. aren't yeah. you? Yeah. You know, you're letting him. That's his workout mm. for the. Might for start the charging him. And he gets to go outside and talk to people as well. Well, the bin. Yeah. No, he'll just bump rubbish. into people. He probably takes him. No, he probably rubbish. takes him a good fifteen minutes to get that bin out. You know how heavy they are on bin day. Mm. So he's like struggling, and as he's going past, someone's going to you. Who's who's making you get? That? And then he ends up having a big conversation. Oh, okay. but, yeah. then, oh, but all I could think of. Well, he'll have them big arms, yeah. and people will say like, "Never misses bin day." One you know, big, like, never misses leg day. Yes, one big arm, fella. One um, big arm, yeah. I'm sure, oh, but all I could think of when you said grab was, <laughs> wouldn't that be a great meal deal in B and Q? What well, grout? Sort of sandwich and some grout. And grout. I, yeah. I, again, I'm just thinking these are the things that maybe he's uh, uh, stock food. Then though, with the boots, it, 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 no. with boots. Yeah, boots aren't <clears throat> stocking grout. No, but it, the other, the additional, op, you know, extra was seamless with boots because they do food and other products. Being Q, we're going to start sandwich. tapping into the DIY market. Just for their meal deals. No, surely being Q be tapping into the food market. It's easier though. They've got to attract new customers. So what? Okay. Okay. Can Didn't I just tell you about machines? Go on, Sam. Me, 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 me and my wife had a little uh, argument once oh, about okay, you know okay. it wasn't really an argument. We were bickering about who does this, who does that. Yeah. And she was saying, "I always, I always You've do lost, the duvet." By the way. But carry on, you, yeah. Go on. You never do the. Du- oh no, I was yeah. pointless. But she yeah. says, "You, you, mm. you, you never do the duvet. I always change all the sheets." And mm. I was like, "Well, I put the bins out." She went. Because I didn't know she knew that the next door neighbour does it. She went, Don does that. And he's 90. I was like, all right, what, shall I put the kettle on? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got a drink off. Mm. <laughs> so have you two got anything to add to that? The ultimate get out card? I don't like to see again. Things, Sam speaks and things pop in my mind. And all I can mm. think now is his neighbour is Dom Littlewood. And actually, they could he's make... not 90. They could think. do a... Like a, Looks nice. a comedy routine where Sam is Dom Little or Dom Little could be Sam stuntman in this room. Dressed in the same clothes, yeah? Yeah, yeah I mm. can see that. Like just Dom a... comes out, uh, puts the bin out, and he's pretending to be Sam because Sam has suddenly got Dude, very shocking. paranoid that people know him because oh, he's on BBC, he's BBC Breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I get it. And he did a cr- and he did a gig in Crew last exactly, week. Exactly, yeah. And I'm mm. thinking Dom Little comes out. Just pretending to be him. He doesn't have to do anything with his hair. He's exactly. Well, sad. you know, you know, <laughs> you know. He's got to put. A, he's got to put a bit of a, a bit of foundation, bit of foundation on, on it. Um, and when people talk, he's just like, hey, 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 with the big glasses. Mm. And that's how. That's how basically. <laughs> that's, wouldn't he, wouldn't <laughs> Dom? It's on three letters. Sam, three letters. Well, is he? Yeah. Is he a sitcom? More, yeah. yeah. A sitcom, I mean, I, I can mean. see it. The titles yeah, look Dom good Dom already. More this is a writers' room now. Right. Yeah. More likely to have a crew set up in a, like a camper van somewhere yeah, yeah. watching the likes of sam make their neighbors go out you've yeah, been yeah. instead of you've been scammed yeah. you've, you've been, been shafted no, you <laughs> know, but if, it's, if it's a comedy surely it's at the end you've been watching you've been shamed oh, but it wasn't a comedy uh, it is a comedy in my head there's a don littlewood literally presented a program called don't get done get dumb and it was about scamming but sam is salmon so they've already been salmon. around the corner salmon Just hang on <laughs> And that's back to the meal deal, because you should be able to get salmon with your meal deal. But this is called, <laughs> Sam doesn't do the bins, Dom does. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of work, but well, he could go around then looking it's for It's a mouthful, like the meal deal is. That is true. There's some kind of play on words with so what Osama you're saying bin. Is, the something. irony here, sorry, yeah. Sam, the irony here what it is. is. And, and, and then, then that would make you a binfluencer. He is ah, a binfluencer. A, sa- like a, sa- a Sam, a Sam, a Dom Bin Laden. 
A sandwich. Osama Dom Bin Laden. A sandwich. Yeah. Um, Sam. What's so what going on here? Sam is supping himself. Which is a Which sandwich. Is, yeah, a sandwich is a soap. That's what oh, I had the other day because so it's a one-handed sandwich that you can drive with. Start. Only Sam's subs are quite successful. How are these two called D Comedy Dave God. and a comedian? Where the, no. they, where, where, no. This is like lightning in a God bottle. No. Mm. <laughs> lightning in a bottle. <laughs> Instead of genie in a bottle. <laughs> what, 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 this what is Christine like... Aguilera got to do with this hey, bin? Hey, on days like today, <laughs> thinking of Christine singing dirty is the only thing that gets you bleeding through. Them chaps are better than the chaps I watched 87 <laughs> minutes onwards on Saturday. And we're back to the Caniston. Mm. <laughs> You're right. Because you get a rubbing off of chaps, don't you? And, she, and that's oh, dirty. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can only think of being thrushed now when he was a bleeding nightmare for us. We get beat lots of times when he was involved. He even come back when he was 84, signed for Newcastle, scored one feckin' goal in an FA Cup tie at Goodison Park. Third round, sliding oh, in at the Gladys Street that knocked us out yeah, the FA Cup. It's a two story. Thank you, Ian Thrush. Mm. Absolutely bleeding nightmare. Should we leave it there? Yeah. <laughs> Is there don't anyone know, else Don Littlewood's going to come? I don't know where about? we can go with it. I don't know. <laughs> So there's no other outs. You haven't got an out the way Sam had put his get make his neighbour put the bin out. I, Dave just sort of. The thing about it, over. all I can just go on to, to just moving on to the bin thing. Mm. My my bin just goes out on its own and comes back. Does it? Yeah. And is it empty? I, it, 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 yeah, empty? I I don't know what how it, it happens. Isn't that like you're washing them? Yeah, it's you told yeah, yeah. you're washing. Yeah, yeah. Them. This they're is why washing. I was like think about having like a um a wand or something. It's like in my house, these things just just that just anyway. happen anyway. Is I, it not connected to your wife? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I mean, I don't need. I don't mean physically. But I mean, do you think? Do you think that you know? But on the basis that there's you two that live in in your my house. My wife's got a genie. No, but I and the bin goes out and it comes in and it's not you, it's not right? Perfect. Unless it's unless it's your ninety year old neighbour. Surely it's, it's my neighbour. Yeah, maybe he walks around. Maybe, maybe he does. Foreign. Maybe. Foreign. <laughs> there's all sorts. He just goes around pulling <laughs> people's bins off. Don't speak. Don't he? He's not off to speak. No, no. Well, he might mm. do. I don't know where mm. Sam lives, but, you know, be a bus there. Have you seen the imagine guys who go around cleaning the bins? just turned up. What was that? Yeah. The, the, guy, the little yeah. van that goes around and cleans your bin for yeah. you, mm. rinses it out with, like, a jet yeah. wash. Yeah. I need that. That'd be quite satisfying, that. Yeah, I need mm. that. Why don't you just get a cart, yeah? Other, other models are available. Do it yourself. Well, you probably have 90 years old Don doing it, wouldn't he? I just do that <laughs> on the PlayStation. <laughs> with a Brillo pad. With a Brillo pad. No, that's all I'm hey, Head first in yeah. there, this yes. poor old fella. His little legs hanging out, <laughs> Sam, like you've missed a bit there, Don. Yeah, Don. Well, can't Don. get the staff now. Uh, like hell, like Oscar the Grouch just stuck in it. Just Oscar yeah. the Grouch? Squeegee. Will you forget mm, over the Grouch? <laughs> Bleeding hell, Sam. Oh. Is your kitchen tiles wrecked or something? He's got Grouch on the brain. Or gout if he has a bevy. Poor Don's now a gout carrying, grout fixing, bin washing. I, yeah, Neighbour, we all need a Don in our life. I think. I don't know what's going on. I'll no, I honest. don't. I'll be honest. By the way, yes, important please. news. Oh, it's bin Sorry, day for me today. Kids. It's bin day for you today. Well, actually, his bin goes out for tomorrow morning. Clever. Oh, he goes early. See where you finished it. Brilliant. Goes early. Go See, I go now, early. Dave. Goes early. Go and do it goes now. Early. And then Happy you'll bin also day, Dave. give Ta. yourself some <laughs> steps if you've got mm. other stuff to put in the bin. Yeah. Extra mm. steps keeps you moving. Hey, and do you know what? My, my bin putting out is more complex than normal because my garage door's knackered at the minute. So I have to Ooh. wheel it through the house. Ooh. Oof. Ooh, he's got a garage. So more steps. Ooh, he's got a garage. Ooh. Well, he essentially <laughs> hasn't at the moment. Oh, he's got a house. Oh, he's got a garage. <laughs> got a but, he hasn't got, but he can't light his face. <laughs> oh, Sam's going robot -y. Let's leave right. it. Let's there. go. Right, thank you, boys. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. We will see you all next week when it'll be a weekend oh. when Everton didn't lose. Disco. And that can only Disco. be a good thing. Disco. See you later. Bye. Bye.